What's going on guys? I hope y'all are having a great day. So yesterday you guys seen Colton's truck, his Duramax. If you didn't watch that video, make sure you guys do. And we are trying to help the twins sell these trucks because they're trying to move on to some bigger and better things with these things. And this truck is in today's video spotlight. Like I said, make sure you check out yesterday's video for Colton's truck. This is Chase. Y'all met him, of course, in the past. We haven't yeah. been over here in video in quite some time, but they're powder coaters over here. Iron Ape Coatings and Fab. Check out their Facebook, their Instagram. They do badass powder coating stuff. They, of course, powder coated everything under this truck. Axles and everything, and that boat just came down. Yep. Water drained <laughs> out of it. Yeah, they drained out of the water out of it. That's good. But, yeah, they do fabrication work, diesel work. They got freaking plane over here, semi, all sorts of stuff, so... A little bit of everything here, the, the little bit of everything. But here's Chase. I'll give him the floor. And he has a 2001, correct? Yep, 2001. 2001 Ram 3500, four-wheel drive. Four-wheel drive, six-speed manual. Sweet. You never find these. These are, if you guys don't know, you may see some body damage. The interior is not great. This is a shell of what could be a badass truck. I mean, it is a badass truck in its own yep. right, the way it sits. But don't sit here and look at this truck and be like, ah, oh, that thing's piece. If you don't know what it is, a six-speed manual four-wheel drive dually in a second gen is sought after. And what he's asking for it, I think he's asking a very respectable price. If you're seriously interested on it, we'll put his Instagram on the screen where you guys can hit him up on Instagram. Serious inquirers only. So let's check out the truck. Yeah, uh, like you said, he pretty much explained exactly what it is. You know, it's it's an, oh, it's an 01, so it's going to have some damage. It does have 440,000 miles. But, I mean, engine has no blow by, runs like a champ, always cranks up, always run. As far as mechanical, I mean, it's mechanically sound, haven't had any trouble with it. We use it to make trips all over the place on, move, pull stuff. Um, we just, recent trip, we just made a little over a 400 mile trip for actually my little brother's aero stream right there. Oh yeah, about to say, where did that, that thing was not here last time I came. No, uh, it, it's his, it's what he's going to move into. But, Where'd y'all uh, pick that up at? Uh... Yeah. Y'all, you got to move in there. You're going to live in that? Yeah, man. I'm remodeling it. Oh, roll tide, roll tide. But, uh, yeah, so, I mean, we use it to go pick stuff up. We move trailers with it. Um, it's always just been a good go to. It's crazy this time. Anytime one of the newer modern trucks is always broke down, this one never breaks down, and we always use it whenever one of those is. So, yeah. um, it does. As you can see, it's got wheels and tires on it. It may or may not come with wheels and tires. It just depends on what we're offered on it. Uh -huh. um, if not, if not, it will come with the factory wheels and tires off of that third gen over there of, of our brothers. That's one of the reasons we're actually selling the truck is uh -huh. we just picked up a third gen and, you know, don't need a bunch of doilies True. laying around, you know. They, they need to go to a good home that someone's going to take care of them and make something cool with them is what I would like to see done with them. Which much. would be awesome. You know, um, like you said, it's got, you know, normal wear and tear on it of 400. You know, they've got some bed rails on it that's covering up some bed yeah. damage that needs to be welded and fixed um pretty much every panel except for i think the hood is, is has, pretty, a, has at least a little dent, yeah you know, like a little bit gate. um as you can see uh, this fender right here is missing the bottom side uh, i do got a one that does need a little bit of repair work on it but it's all there uh -huh. to go with it um that this one over here it's got some i don't know if you got it or not it does have some damage right here in the bottom of it that does need to be oh, refiberglass yeah. something but the the piece is still there so i mean you know it can be fixed up and you know if you know what you're doing with body work you can fix it pretty easy and at one point in time we were going to fix it up make it real nice and everything but you know just time over time you know a million, a million other projects all sorts of other stuff out here so you get um, busy but yeah you know come to the fender this side of the truck actually huh it's not washed i need to wash it but this side, if you look at it, it's actually really straight. It is. I mean, it is very straight. For for the mileage and, you know, the year and the, the work that's been done to it. Um, and I'll get a, you know, I'll have pictures, send pictures of it washed and cleaned up. I'll clean it up either in the next day or two, maybe a week. We're supposed to get rain for next week. So, you know, it's kind of no point in washing something. But True. anybody who's inter really interested and wants pictures of all of it, I'll clean it and get you pictures of all of it. But, um, you know, here's the front. Same thing, you know, just pretty decent, not really too dented up. Um, it does have scratches, of course. The actual factory front bumper, surprisingly, has one small little dent in it right here. 
Um, so you want you could bump that out and probably would never hardly notice it. Mm -hmm. uh, as far as the plastic trimming though, plastic trimming needs to be replaced. Um, headlights need to be replaced. They're really bad fog over, but you can get that stuff pretty cheap. Same oh, with yeah. the front grill. Headlights maybe a hundred bucks. Grill. I actually have a grill in my garage that if somebody wanted to buy this truck, I'll just throw it in for free. Okay. Cool. <laughs> yeah. Well, I'll help cool. you out there. Yeah. So yeah. Well. There's a grill for it. Um, yeah. Still needs the. I know, like the plastic trim around the front bumper. If you want to keep the factory front bumper look, uh, is it like 160 bucks? Because I did look it up. Um, I've seen people trim paint these, seen them use heat guns, seen them use wipe new, seen them use back to black. Uh, you spray paint the mesh black. Yeah. Crap and spray paint that. You can make this look a little bit better. Yeah, you can make it a little bit better. Probably the, the biggest problem is just you know just the tabs the clips, over time yeah. have you know fallen out or broke off. True. Um, here we'll go ahead. And Quick no rust or what's the rust uh, situation? Honestly, no rust. You can it's take a Florida it. truck. Yeah, so it's we a Florida don't truck, so we don't snow. have any any snow, any salt. Um, it does, you know, of course, over time has gotten leaks a little bit here and there. Nothing major. You don't have to add oil to it or anything. Um, it'll go full. I change the oil in this truck every six thousand miles, so it goes. It'll go the whole six thousand miles and won't lose any oil. That's good. You know, so that's. That's actually something that's pretty rare for a second gen. Most definitely it but, is. Yeah, you know, most of them do leak, but this one you can leave it running. And uh, there might be a drop or two, you know, sitting somewhere for 30 minutes, you know, or getting, yeah. getting filled at the pump. So it, 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 a little bit it does leak is very, very little. Um, I'm not going to say it doesn't leak because, you know, that's that'd be a lie in itself too. True. But uh, Let's check out the interior. Yeah, we'll check out the interior. Um, like I said, you know, nothing major rust. Up. Of course, it is a second gen interior, so. Oh, yeah. The dog's gonna want to ride. She knows this is this is her truck. <laughs> she'll jump right in. She'll jump in and she'll crawl over to the back seat and lay down on the back seat. She says, "Let's go, Dad." So, if, if <laughs> one of the reasons that's one of the reasons I didn't actually fix up the interior real nice at the time, just because this was one of the trucks that I would carry the dogs around with me in. Um, you know, you'd probably be surprised how clean you can get this. You, it really, you will be surprised um, when you clean it Even up. Even with some of the deep stains in the carpet. There's stuff nowadays that you can get oh, man, without whatever, even having expensive equipment. Just, whenever I first bought it, I'll be honest, like I cleaned it up really, really good. And whenever, like you can see, this is faded from, you know, sun coming through the windows and all over the uh -huh. years. But uh, like you said, I backed the black, all the interior, cleaned the carpet up real good, cleaned the seats up real good. Of course, you know, your seats are going to have your normal tears in the sides. Center console has tears. Dash is gone. Dash is gone. Um, I did have a dash with this truck, but I had another guy buy another second gen from me that tan one a while back yeah i remember that i one. threw the dash in with that one so um like i said just depending on how serious someone is about it i can totally get a dash for it headliner you know headliner actually needs, other, a, lot, needs a lot of work needs yeah. some love actually this would be a good for somebody who is looking to kind of learn body work yeah learn body interior, work, work. interior work um but you know they want a good as far as mechanical running exactly, truck yeah um we'll do that we'll, uh Let's see, we'll take a look under the hood. Let you take a look at it. And this is the side that does have the damn, you know, the door and all. Oh. Sure you got that, but yeah. I remember that hood, it snaps right up. I remember it at that time. That pops right up, so you can see. Um, Oh, 24 valve. Oh, 24 valve. I mean, nothing. HY35? HX, because it's a 3500. It has yep. an HX, HX. doesn't it? Yep. Good, it's good, good. Motor. Um, you can see, like, of course, there is still going to be oil and everything a little bit on it. Oh, yeah. It looks like maybe your uh, valve cover gasket or something right here. Yeah. Um, maybe there's no telling, honestly. I mean, it probably, it'll, it'll need to be replaced. Like I said, I haven't technically ever really stuck a wrench on this other than a brand new alternator. Yep, that is one thing. It does have brand new is an alternator that I put on, like, I think you come, I think you were over here that day when we were putting the alternator on. You got a water pump. Thing. The water pump looks shiny. Yeah. Maybe that's uh, just the belt. No, cleaning. you're right. Water pump. Water pump, belt, and alternator are all brand new. We, uh, we like I said, we lent this cousin out or this truck out to a cousin, and that was one of the uh, stipulations was uh, it needed a water pump at the time when he borrowed it. We told him if he'd put a water pump on it and a belt, he could use it, and he did. And then right after I got it back from him, the alternator, of course, was bad, so I had yeah. to replace that myself. <laughs> but, uh, so, so that little bit of stuff right there is new on it. Um, and uh, no, actually, the brake pads. All the brake pads all the way around were replaced probably about two or three months ago when he borrowed it. That was another thing we told him we needed to put on it was uh, brake pads. But other than that, and nothing else has been touched. Um, 
just like I said, just don't really need it hanging around. I mean, not necessarily gonna give it away either. You know, if if I don't get oh, yeah. what we want for it, you know, we'll keep it. We'll yeah. I'll eventually do something with it, fix it up, make it nice. Yeah, four wheel drive dually six speed. You can find them. Yeah, you I mean, know, maybe I shouldn't there, say they're a unicorn, but. People are hard when they when they sell them. They're wanting some crazy, some crazy prices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, this one it. does need love, but I think it, if it went to the right home, I mean, what second gen doesn't need love? You know, exactly. Every I mean, second gen. I'll be honest with you. The guy that I bought that fender from, it come off of a truck identical to this, except for it was a automatic. Uh -huh. That was the difference to it. And like I said, you know, they that's what you'll always find. If it's a four wheel drive, it's just about always going to be an automatic, not a manual. Um, and if it is a manual, more than likely it's always a two-wheel drive mm -hmm. is the thing. And his truck, dude, his truck, the bed was complete. That was the only good thing on it was that one fender. The whole bed was completely destroyed. No tailgate. Had dents all over it. Um, the front windshield was actually completely just spider glass. Had to replace it. And he, the best he could talk the guy down was uh, 5500 bucks. And, I mean, it was a rolling pile of crap. Yeah. Granted, it had... Had about 60,000 miles less than this. I think his had 380 on it. But mm -hmm. whenever he bought it, I feel bad for the guy. He literally bought it, had it for like two months, and had to go through and replace injectors, pumps, all that stuff. He just didn't really know what to look for when he bought the truck. Oh, yeah. And uh, it's a then, workhorse. Yep. It's the workhorse, man. It's probably one of America's icon workhorse trucks. Yeah. Freaking second gen dually. These trucks did a lot of work, towing loads and doing all sorts of stuff. Another thing, or I forget, but doesn't Cab lights, too. AC does not work in this truck. So, oh, heater, okay. heater works, but the AC doesn't. Um, yep, it's got cab lights. Cab lights work. All the bed lights work. All the blinkers, headlights, all of it works. It's just, like I said, you know, the headlights and blinker housings need to be replaced because they're just so fogged up. Oh, yeah. And it would just look, you know, the newer, modern-looking ones look so much better in these trucks than those old just with all the lines or whatever you call that. Yeah, yeah. The diffusers and everything. But, you know, for the most part, it's a good, decent truck. Um, yeah. I'm trying to, I wanna, you know. I bought the new piece for this. Uh, it was like 20 bucks off Amazon. I bought it for the black P-Pump truck. And then the headliner, you'd be surprised. Sometimes headliners, well, maybe this one might have to be replaced, but. Yeah. Sometimes I, the headliners will actually clean up decent. Yeah, I would, I would just go ahead and say replace, just yeah. because. Um, I know the owner that we did buy it from, uh, some of his, some of the people that would use it did smoke in it. Okay. Um, so, you know, it probably, even if you clean it up, probably still have a bit of a smoky smell. The truck itself really doesn't have a smoky smell. Cause really I mean, know. we've had the truck for three years from the guy we bought it from and no one has smoked in it since then. But when we first got it, you could kind of get the hint of cigarette smoke. Gotcha. Um, the, that actual, that door over there, um, it needs a uh, it needs a new bottom cable for the latch. It uh it doesn't open up. If you take it, you know, of course you can take this out and you can grab a hold of that cable and pop it up. The door will open. Uh -huh. But uh, the the nipple on the end of the cable on that side is broke, so it will not open up unless you take that out and pop it up. I'm just trying to think of anything and everything else that might be wrong with it. Um, you want to take it around the block, take it on the spin. Yeah, of course, man. Sweet. Come on, get out. Let's go, pop. Come on. Dog's low up in the back seat. Dog's just chasing us. Hey, let it. Come on. Oh, they're coming with us? Yeah. Hang around. Oh, shit. All right. No, not the front seat, though. That's his. Come on, back seat. Go. Go. Got the dogs in the back. Let's go. Come, Come on. on. Come on. Get your ass right. up there. Right. There you go. We'll just. Yeah. We'll take it down there on the block. Sweet. Smells like freedom in here. And I mean, it is all stock, so it is no powerhouse, no programmer, no tuner, no nothing. Let's tell them it smells like freedom in here. I know, right? Wind it down. As you can see, I'm just gonna... Starts right up, man. Gotta love the Cummins. Yep. First brake off. Pull it down in a second. I'll always just start it. Oh! The windshields work. Windshield, uh... Oh, dude, even the mirror motors work. The uh, electric mirrors still all work, too. Oh, hell yeah. Radio work? Radio works. Um, this is the power. There's about the heater. Yeah. You're gonna give me copyright strike. I know, right? <laughs> Alright, we 
Yeah, HX 35s, man. You gotta love the whistle. It's just like every second gen though. First time riding in it, dude. Well, yeah. I don't know if they can hear shit, but <laughs> I can hear you. <laughs> Was it pull like a dream? Uh, pull the trailer good? It, it'll pull the trailer good, um, but as I mean, you know, first gear, all that stuff, you know, it'll pull anything. It'll pull the gates off. Hell. To uh, <laughs> pull the gates off, hell. You know, it, it takes a minute to get the speed. That's where, you know, it could really. What are you doing, dog? Come sit on. down. Sit down. What you telling the back? <laughs> this one's being good. That one's always good. Mine's the one. Sound, you're not American, dude. I don't, give, I don't care who you are. Did your cousin sell that Viper he had up here? Yeah, he sold it. Dang, who did he end up selling it to? Somebody local or? Someone down in uh, Miami. Miami came around. Yeah, that's where the money's at. All the money, man. I drove all the way, uh, all the way up from Miami and bought it from him. He did good on it. He, he put a little money in the car, but uh, he paid $28,000 for that car and was able to sell it for $32,000. So Damn. Actually, I want a Viper so bad. They just appreciate in value so well. Yeah. There's not many of them either. There really isn't. Um, it's crazy though. You'll find some that people are wanting arm and leg for, and then sometimes you'll find one for a really good deal. You know what I mean? True, yeah. All over the place pricing. But I mean, it's, it's, it's drivable. PJ, they won't sell it to me. I tried to buy it from them. They won't sell it to me. That's how we got. Our, that's how we make our living, brother. I know. <laughs> I'm trying to get like y'all. Omega Slab sitting clean. Oh man, it's sitting so clean. The Duramax is kind of shitting on it though. <laughs> hey man, we can make you for that truck. For the Omega Slab? Get you a, a five and a half inch for like a little over eight hundred bucks. From who? Uh, rough country direct direct son hey we have to look into that old that, gen one well getting... do you remember how good bro's truck looked yeah that's what was on it it was a uh, it was the five and a half inch rough country with uh two inch uh leveling blocks up front and it looked good it's and it right set too. perfect damn need to look into that maybe hey and we could powder coat all of it like we did his remember when we powder coated all of his uh -huh. you can go with any color on that truck and it look good it looked silver good. Silver, so that's what I'm saying. Whatever, I mean, whatever your favorite color is, pink, hot pink. I mean, dude, we got. Dude, <laughs> I'm not even gonna lie. There's yeah, I like, know you do have they're, pink, dude, really. They're saying, well, we've got a candy hot pink that looks awesome. It's a candy color. Oh yeah. So yeah. it's like a translucent. Looks awesome. I'd never do that, but maybe somebody would. Yeah, maybe someone, maybe female would. Yeah. 
Oh, uh, oh, Gen 1 is getting, you said, P-Pump converted and triple... P-Pump conversion, triple turbos, and uh, we're going to pull the 46 RH out of it and put a 47 RH, which will have an overdrive. Well, actually, even that one has an overdrive. Actually, it'll just, uh, the only thing, actually, thing it'll have the 47 will have a torque converter lockup. Sweet. Which, Didn't we do a video on this truck, now that I'm thinking about it? This truck? Yeah. Did we do a video on this I truck? we did. I'm pretty sure we did. Dude, I'm freaking... I think we did a video. Yeah, we'll, we'll go to your YouTube and see. I can't even remember. We, I think we did a video on this truck, though. Let the kids out the back. Come on. Get up. Let's go. Your dogs don't... They'll get out when they feel like Yeah, but I say your dogs don't listen to me they at don't, all. Well, they don't listen at all to me. As far as this, because they think we're going to go somewhere. Come on. Let's go. Out. Well, we'll go ahead and end the video out here, guys. Make sure, like I said, hit him up on Instagram if you are interested. Serious inquirers only. Don't waste his time. This dude's real busy. So if you guys are interested in it, though, hit him up. You know everything about it. That should be mostly everything somebody would want to know. Rust, blow by, oil leaks, mileage, interior, exterior, walk around. It runs. I mean, steering. We showed that yeah, it needs steering. Um, uh, one more thing, four wheel drive does work, uh, but you have to get up there and manually slide the actuator over because of the vacuum lines need to be replaced. They're dry, rotted, and cracked. That's cheap, though. But that's cheap. But yeah. I mean, like I said, just want to let people know. Yeah, be upfront about it. That's be good. Be upfront about right. it. I mean, I don't want you, you know, someone, if someone does get it, I don't want them to be upset or feel like they got gypped on or anything. True. You know, I try to be, if you be as honest as possible, you know, it always just works out the best in the end. That's true. Well, I appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end. I hope you enjoyed that video. Make sure you're smashing a like down below. If you want us to come over here and make some more videos at the Twins house, comment down below, let us know. But make sure before you leave, smash the like button. It really helps the channel grow a lot. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the truck and we'll see you guys in the next one. They say Mike's about to blow them. Tell me, tell me something that I don't know. With the crowd bouncing like bogles. You can come on the tour bus, just please no photos. Fuck their eye like Somo. Cause we be going off on the off nights. Cause I've been on, I've been on. Every single song I put my pin on.